We're going to balance this redox equation. Uh, we've got iodide plus copper 2 produces copper naught, the elements, metal, and iodate in basic solution. So we're going to use the atoms, oxygen, hydrogen, electrons method to balance this out. So I'm going to go ahead and start with iodine first. So we're going to go from iodide to iodate. All right, so we need to balance out um, the atoms of iodine are the same on each side. So we're going to go straight to oxygen. I've got three oxygens in iodate. So I need to add three water molecules to the right uh, to the left side. That gives me iodide plus three water molecules produces iodate. Uh, but now we've got to deal with hydrogen. So I'm going to add um, hydrogen ions to the right side. So that gives me 3H2O plus iodide produces iodate plus, so 3 times 2 is 6, I need 6 hydrogen ions on the right. The problem is this is in basic solution, so we need to do an extra step, uh, and that's going to be done by adding six hydroxides to the right, and then we're going to add six hydroxides to the left. So we add the same number of hydroxides to both sides. Okay, so let's clean this up. That's six OH plus 3H2O plus iodide produces, let's put a negative sign on iodate, that's very important, plus 6. Uh, now I'm going to combine the H and the OH into 6 water molecules. Okay, so um, if you look, we've got 6 O's plus three O's, that's nine oxygens. We've got three oxygens here and six there, so that's nine. We've got six hydrogens uh, in water and six in the hydroxide, that's 12. We've got 12 here and iodide's the same on each side. What's not the same, however, is the number uh, of charges. So I've got six minuses and one minus. So I've got a minus six and a minus one for a total of minus seven on the left. And I've only got minus one on the right. So I need to, um, the only way I can change that to where the charge is the same on each side, it doesn't need to be zero on each side, but it, I need to have the same charge, is by adding electrons. So I'm going to add six electrons over on the right side, and that's going to give me minus seven on the right. Okay, so let me get rid of these charges. I was just doing that as a bookkeeping method. So now my uh, iodine reaction is balanced. What I'm going to do now is take care of the copper reaction. So I've got copper 2 plus going to copper not the element. Now is this going to be oxidation or reduction? What about this first what about this first equation that we did? Is that oxidation or reduction? Well, if you look at it, the electrons are on the right-hand side. They were lost. So this, lose electrons, that's oxidation. So in order for this reaction to balance, this has to be reduction. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to add electrons, and they're going to have to be added to the left side. So we've got a plus 2 on the left in neutral. I don't want to add two electrons over here on the right for two reasons. First of all, that would be oxidation, and you can't have two oxidation reactions happening at the same time. 
And secondly, this gives me a minus 2 on the right and plus 2 on the left. So you probably saw that we need to add two electrons to the left side, not the right side. Now I'm ready to add these two equations together. The problem is, um, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and move this over here. So two electrons plus copper 2 gives us copper naught. Well, hopefully you see the problem. We're going to add these last two equations together. And in order to do that, we need to get rid of electrons. And I can't cancel all of my electrons out. At the end, I need to have no electrons. So I got six on the right and two on the left. So you probably noticed I need to multiply this equation by three. And I'm going to kind of do it over here and then we can add it together. So that's going to give me six electrons on the left. This, by the way, is reduction. I'm adding electrons on the left. I'm making copper uh, more negative. I'm reducing its charge from positive to neutral. So I have six electrons plus copper two. Uh, and we need to multiply that by three, don't we? Produces three, I'm multiplying, copper naught. Okay, so that uh, is done and we're going to do this, just move this uh, first reaction with iodide down. So I have six hydroxides plus three H2O. Be careful not to make mistakes when we're bringing these equations down plus iodide produces iodate plus six H2O plus six electrons. Okay, so it's real important. Did we, did we copy down everything with the charge? Looks like we did. So now I need to get rid of the electrons. There can be no electrons in the final redox equation. Okay, so this is reduction. And this is oxidation. Okay, so we can see that iodine lost electrons. All right, and now we're ready to add them together. So we have 6 OH minus plus 3 H2O plus iodide. And I've already seen a mistake here. We need to cancel out water. We didn't do that. So we've got to get rid of three of these waters and three of these and put a three there. Okay, so now what that allows us to do is get rid of these water molecules. We should have caught that. I should have caught that earlier. Okay, so now we have six hydroxides plus iodide, plus three copper two, okay? And none of that is on the right-hand side, so none of that gets canceled out. That produces three copper naught, plus iodate, and we can't forget our water molecules. We got rid of our electrons. So now we need to see if this guy's balanced, okay? So I'm going to go through each element. We have one iodine on each side. We have three coppers on each side. Let's look at hydrogen. I've got six hydrogens on the left. Three times two is six on the right. That's balanced. I've got six oxygens on the left. I've got three oxygens here plus three in the water. That means I have six oxygens on the right. Now what we want to do is see if we have our charges. So right here I've got minus 6, minus 1, 3, that's going to be plus 6. So on the left I have minus 1. What about on the right? Nothing here, neutral here, minus 1. So with respect to charge we're the same on each side. 
So this equation would be the balanced redox equation for the given reaction in basic solution.